A tri-state man is locked up for a second time after a relative lets police into his room without a search warrant. Our Scott Wagoner tells us why she did it. If these allegations are true, you're a one-man crime wave. Devin Denny didn't have anything to say in court today, but back home in St. Bernard, his grandmother did. I want him to go to jail. Shirley Denny asked that I not show her face, but was willing to open up about why she let police search Devin's bedroom without a warrant, not once, but twice. He's been on drugs since he's 16. Devin was arrested for stealing things out of unlocked cars in the neighborhood. Saturday, he was locked up in the Hamilton County Justice Center. He spent about 12 hours in jail. 12 hours. And they let him out. On Monday morning, we started getting additional reports of vehicles that had been gone through. Uniforms were back on Shirley's doorstep. Again, searched the residence. Again, without needing a warrant. Because I want Devin straightened up. They really want this young man to get help. I want help for that boy. While police were recovering possibly stolen goods from his bedroom, Shirley says the phone rang and an officer answered it. Some druggie called him one speak to death. But Devin is back in jail. The judge wasn't happy to see him return to court just two days after being locked up the first time. I didn't want the sheriff to let you out. He let you out because the jails were overcrowded. I'm putting on there no early release, no sheriff release. Surely hopes her tough love pays off. I'm going to look forward to it. Scott Wagoner, 9 on your side, St. Bernard.